Here's a quick demo to show you how to use the FET program. We're going to locate FET down here, Acids and Bases, loads us into the University of Colorado, and we're going to choose Run. That's going to download a JavaScript onto our hard drive, and we're going to keep that, and then we're going to open that up, or we're going to run that file. So we need to find it, and we'll look over here, we'll look over here, and there it is right there. So we'll double click it, run it, or launch it and that's going to run our FET simulation program. So we certainly want to run that, and here we are. So this is the simulation. Notice that it's got a picture of some water. You can show the molecules. You can show. You can pick what uh, thing you want, what substance you want. It fills it up. You can add water. You can add more whatever. Um, you can... Uh, you can take a look at the molecular count, or the count of molecules, how many there are. Change the pH with the slider or manually. I like the slider because you can aim specifically for something. And it'll show you the particle count. So let's try pH of 8. Notice that there's uh, times 10 to the minus 8 H plus and 10 to the 6 OH minus. Remember that pH 8 means base, so there's going to be more OH. And remember that these numbers are adding up to 14, the 8 and the 6. So let's try pH of 9. Notice that the 9 and the 5 add up to 14. Now one thing that is kind of weird is these particle picture counts. Notice that they're not nice and neat like 1's. And that's only because of the molarity of water being 55. So we won't worry about that. Anyway, pH of 10, we can fiddle around with that. And in each case, we're just looking over at the bars. We're paying attention to the legend and the particle count. So this is going to let us fiddle around and uh, experiment with how to get different um, uh, images of the... Uh, of the pHs. Incidentally, that whole weird thing with the ones, if we take 3.3 .3 and divide by 602, or 602 divided by 33, we get 55 and 18, and that has everything to do with calculating the molarity of water. I've got a YouTube video on that. All right, back to here. So let's uh, toss in some soda pop. Uh, starts out at 2.5. We can take a look at our particle count over here. We can pour out some of the soda, we can fill it up with water, take a look at our new particle count, ask ourselves if that makes sense. We're always doing that, we're not just fiddling. We're asking ourselves if we know if that makes sense. So let's put in some more soda pop. And uh, great, so we'll fill it up with soda pop, throw most of it away, add some more water. So there's still soda pop in there, let's throw most of it away, fill it up with water. You can see that the pH is gradually starting to become a little bit closer to neutral. Uh, which is 7 and 7, equal amounts and equal amounts. Incidentally, these things click and drag too. So I guess the main thing here is just for you to be able to experiment with pH numbers, pOH numbers, and uh, um, throwing stuff away, adding water, paying attention to uh, uh, the particle count or the molecule count. I also like the idea of the uh, paying attention to the H plus ratio and the OH minus ratio down in here because that's kind of nice. Uh, if we turn the ratio on, um, so right now I see the 22 and the 10, so a difference of 12, and I notice that, uh oh, hello, now it's gone. Okay, time for you to fiddle on your own. Good luck.